Why, hello there, and welcome back to not only surviving, but thriving while navigating the treacherous dating scene that is Thailand. With me, your crazy kooky host. Yes, welcome back to quite possibly the dumbest yet most important thing you're going to watch all day if you're thinking about getting into a relationship with a local lovely lady here in Thailand. Because a lot of guys get themselves into situations where they fall in love with these girls, they start spending money on them, they start, start spending time on them, emotions, and all of a sudden something happens and they go, what the, how the, and they get confused and all of a sudden they find out that this lovely innocent girl that they have all these feelings for really ain't so innocent and she has been working as a professional before and she has reeled you in and uh, all of a sudden you are just and your hearts guys these are the signs these are things that you have to look for if any of these happen to you i'm telling you right now your sweet innocent lovely little lady most likely is a professional freelancer or has been a professional freelancer in the past. Now, I will admit, when I started this video series, I thought it was going to be two parts. Quite honestly, this could be four or five parts, depending on how successful each video does. The first one, fantastic response. This one, I'm hoping it gets a good response as well. But uh, you wouldn't believe how many flags there are and how many things that guys just miss. So here, guys, are another five, and I promise it is actually five in this video, signs, red flags that you need to look out for that are right there in your face telling you that most likely, yeah, she's a professional. So let's jump in. Now, again, I know I'm going to catch wild shit for this one, but guys, I'm just going to tell you flat out. If you're down in Phuket or in Pattaya and your girlfriend is on Thai Friendly, the chances of her being an actual honest girl looking for a meaningful relationship is pretty much, th that's just the truth. It has been my experience in pretty much every single guy that I know here on Phuket at least, and for the most part everybody in Patia, that if she's on Thai friendly, she's a professional. Now, I'm going to tell you something guys, make up a fake profile and send her a message and ask her, point blank. I've done it myself. I've caught so many girls on there who are supposed to be older there, you know, to meet people, improve their English. <laughs> and guys fall for this shit all the time. They, again, I don't know if it's because they're so beautiful. I don't know if it's because they're so sexy. I don't know. Maybe men are just as dumb as at the end of the day. I'm not sure. But some of the stories that you get why they're on there is just absolutely hilarious. Um, so yeah, I mean, if you, if you have a question about her, make up a fake profile, go on and, you know, send her some messages and most likely you're going to find out the truth in a hurry. So again, I know I'm going to get a lot of grief about, oh, you know, Thai friendly is wonderful. Thai friendly is a cesspool guys. Okay. I don't know a single person on there that hasn't had an absolutely experience on Thai friendly. Um, and again, I know down here on Phuket. 99% of them are freelancers or lady boys or both. You know, if you're looking for a lady boy, a lady boy freelancer, Thai friendly is the place to go. It really is. If you're just looking for a freelancer, it's definitely the place to go. I did. I went on and I messaged 25 girls and 24 of them sent back short term, long term. 24. Do the math on that, guys. Go ahead. I'll wait for you. Yeah. Staggering amount, isn't it? staggering the only one that didn't actually turned out to be a freelancer anyways and uh, she was just trying to play the long game oh well you can try Thai friendly but uh, the chances of finding anybody other than a professional freelancer or massage girl on her day off pretty slim now, while we're on the subject of storytelling and stories that these girls like to uh, pawn off as reality if I had a bot for every time I've heard this one, and I just literally got off the phone with a subscriber talking about how he met this girl, she's fantastic, she's wonderful, and she's having a little bit hard right now because before COVID, she owned her own salon. 
I'm telling you guys, if I had a bot for every time I heard that story, I oh, 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 I could buy a whole lot of beer. I really could. It is absolutely amazing how guys will fall for this. And stop me if you haven't heard this one. Honestly, anybody that's been here in Thailand long enough has heard this story so many times. It's it's beyond belief. Oh, I had a salon. I was this. I was that. And I always wonder, well, was every single bar girl freelancer in Thailand, like the Jeff Bezos of Thailand before COVID, did they all have these huge successful careers? And if so, how come they don't have any money today? How come they didn't save any money? Now, granted, I do understand that they could have had to spend all of their money, but you would think that, okay, so today you would be financially responsible, possibly, no, not at all. Guys, come on. Not every single girl here owned a salon before COVID. And if you get that story, there's a pretty damn good chance. A pretty good chance that, yeah, she wasn't a salon owner. She was a professional and most likely still is of some degree. What absolutely amazes me is how easy it is for a lot of the girls here in Thailand to just flat out ask you for money, okay? Now, I get requests all of the time from girls that I have interviewed, girls that I know. They all the time will ask me for money, just out of the blue. I'm not even, I mean, I've had some girls get really pissed off at me and I'm like, you're not my girlfriend, I'm not your boyfriend. Why would I give you money? And they have no problem asking anybody for money, okay? And this typically, I have found, is always the girls that have been professionals, freelancers, bar girls, et cetera, et cetera. These are the ones that are asking for money. I look at the girls that I know that have never been in that industry, and I do know a lot of girls. They have never once asked me for not one single bot. So guys, please, yes, you know what? Take your new date out, buy her dinner, stuff like this. And if you do have a great time and, you know, she wakes up the next morning and says, uh, oh, by the way, could you help me with paying her cell phone, paying this, paying that, or comes flat out and says, listen, you know, could you give me 3,000 baht for my rent? That's a pretty good sign that yeah she's done this many many times before and at that point is when you need to decide whether or not you're going to be in a relationship with a freelancer or if you're going to run away and try and find one that you truly believe is not or has not been because the ability for them to simply ask for money that fast and that easy yeah it's uh it's shocking and that goes with the very next one, guys, which should have come before this one. But as you know, there's no, there's no rationale behind anything that I do. If a girl tells you that, oh, look, you know, I haven't had sex in seven years, blah, 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 blah. But goes out with you that night and shags the out of you all night long. There's a good chance that, yeah, she's A, full of, and she's done this many, many times before. But also, most likely, she is a... I'm just going to flat out and say it, guys. Listen, any woman that you're trying to pursue, any woman that, you know, you should be getting into a long-term, most likely she's not going to jump in the sack with you that night and be a sexual deviant expert, whatever, you know. That's, I, I don't... Sometimes I shake my head because I, I was talking to a guy I know today, just on, like literally an hour or so before making this video, and he's telling me this story about, you know, all these girls are telling them that you know, they haven't had sex, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, but they jump right into bed with you, right? And, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Really? Blah, 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 blah. Give it a shake, guys. Stop, you know, give that one a shake if you have to once in a while because you, you, you've got you've to understand that these are all red flags that... I don't know what it is. Is it the beauty of them? Is it the sex? Is it the the idea of having this incredibly beautiful woman, A, tell you that she loves you, um, find you attractive? And Does that pollute 
you so much that you can't see what's right in front of you? I mean, honestly, think about that. A girl tells you, oh, she hasn't had sex in seven years. Yet, she goes out to dinner with you and let's face it, you're not George Clooney. Most likely you're not. Um, yet, she jumps into bed with you right away and she's an absolute vixen? Just, I'm, I'm just asking you to think about these ones, guys, okay? Just, just use this one for five minutes instead of 15 seconds with that one. Am I being judgmental in this video? Perhaps I am. I'm trying not to be, but at the end of the day, if we're trying to figure out what somebody is and what they're not, I guess we have to judge them. And one extremely easy way to figure out somebody in a hurry is by looking at their friends. Now, quite honestly, when I was younger, I hung around with some absolute idiots. And at some point I had to decide, did I want to be an idiot? I mean, I am an idiot. You guys think I'm an idiot. Everybody knows I'm an idiot. But did I want to be an idiot loser all of my life? Or did I want to become better? And I had to go this way while my friends kept going that way. Do you know what I'm saying? If your Thai girlfriend, love interest, flavor of the day, whatever we want to call her, has nothing but freelancers, massage girls, and bar girls as friends, most likely there's a good possibility. I don't want to call a spade a spade, but typically... You are what you hang around with. You are the sum of the... P Come on, honestly, guys, if all of her friends are freelancers, do you really honestly think that she's not? How come she doesn't know anybody at all that, you know, has a real job, works at 7-Eleven, works in it? How come she only knows freelancers? How come she only knows massage girls? How come she only knows girls that are doing... This for money. I don't know. I, again, I'm trying really hard not to judge people, but at the end of the day, guys, you got to wake up. If, if you take your girlfriend to a bar and every single bar girl and freelancer there knows her by name, and they're like, oh, who's this guy? Come on, boys, please just give it a shake. <laughs> really give it a shake. So again, there you go. And guys, I'm telling you, I am having these conversations on a daily basis with guys all around the world. And that's what made me want to do this video because I am talking to a guy right now who has been here a couple of times and he's falling for this shit. He believes, you know, when they tell him that, Oh, you know, I, I had this business and it was fantastic. But then COVID, again, if I had a bot for every time I heard that story, oh my dear God, you know, he's hearing these things about how, oh, I'm, I'm only on Thai friendly and I'm only talking to this guy and this guy and this guy and this guy to improve my English. Really? Guys, come on. You know, there's, there's just so many things. And then again, their friends, their network, the people that they hang out with, if they're all freelancers, really, like, come on, guys. I, I know coming here and meeting these girls is exciting, it's fun, and, you know, they're so beautiful, they're so tender, they're so sexy, damn, they're sexy. But if you're looking for real love, you're going to get your heart shattered, your bank account drained, and man, it's going to be hard. And again, I know so many guys that have taken the Phuket plunge. Um, I'm up to six guys that I know, but sorry, I knew personally that have killed themselves because of falling in love with a girl and finding out down the road that, you know, she's not even close to what he believed in the beginning. It's a sad story. And I know that there's going to be people out there that go, oh, well, they get what they deserve, but... Nobody deserves to have their heart absolutely shattered. And that's why I'm trying to make these videos to try and help you guys. 
the guys that are coming here just looking for nothing but you know a two-week vacation come you know get get their <laughs> I can't say get the rocks off I can't say that um, those guys you know they watch these videos because they're fun and funny the guys that are coming here that honestly want to find love that want to have that think they're gonna live their best life with a Thai girlfriend and be happy they're the ones that really need to watch these videos because it's uh, it is a minefield man and it is treacherous dating in Thailand so until next time guys please uh, Live your best life. If you're not living your best life, find out what you need to do today to get living it. Because again, you only have one and anything less than the best. You know it. Till next time. Cheers.